Welcome back everybody, it's me GST back again with some clear, clean, crisp vision. Uh, no darts again? Get rid of this, please. Uh, last we left off, we cured our eyesight, now I really want to get into this. Which sounds weird, because it's a jug full of spit, but uh, it's one of the highlights of the game for me. Get in there. Oh boy, another spittoon. Let's go. Uh, what's with the excitement? I've given up. This is the last spittoon in the game, and I'm not going to try and convince you to not be the most disgusting person on Earth anymore. Let's go. Let's do this. Yeah! Search that filthy spittoon. You kneel down on the floor and throw your arms around the spittoon, giving the greasy brass bucket a great big hug. How about a kiss? Would you like to kiss it? You know it, baby. You pucker up and give the spittoon a great big kiss right on the rim. Is there tongue involved? Well, I'll leave that up to you. But even without it, it tastes like a burning horse. I love this. I know you do, friend. And if it were legal in this country, I'd let you marry that spittoon and have a beautiful romantic honeymoon night with it. But unfortunately, you're gonna have to settle for wearing it as a hat. I'm okay with that. You flip that beautiful brass bucket over there and slap it on your head, drenching yourself in br hot brown tobacco spit. It washes down your face and hair like a sewage waterfall, soaking your clothes, running down your collar and slithering into your underwear and filling your boots. I can't even force myself to describe it in any more detail than that. You are the world's foulest human being. Congratulations. Got me a spittoon hat! Uh, oh! That's pretty good! This is a spittoon hat, which is to say it is a spittoon that you have turned upside down and placed on top of your head. Hooray! Give it to me. Let me check that out! Uh, where the hell did a strange lamp use it? Um, oh, I should... you want to do this... do it where you live. Oh, I should go back and put that up. Uh, where's my hat? Spittoon hat. Mr. Cali, what is this one? Oh, this is way better for spell damage. Give me that. So one of the things what the, ugh, one of the things I wanted to do was go back to the crypt because I have the human dust, right? Howdy, Clooney. What can I get you? What do you got? What's with the huge brawl going over there? Oh, them fellas are always blowing off steam. Just let them go ahead and get their aggressions out. So long as they keep over there away from that what furniture I've got left. Uh, what can you tell me about Frisco? Oh, it's a fine town. A fella named Samson Frisco founded it way back when the mines first opened up this way and everyone caught the fever. Mining fever? Yep, the kind you get from breathing too much dirt. Frisco has was a doctor, you see. Ah, gotcha. Uh, what you got? Oh, we got an, ooh, oh, new fashioned. I got excited, I thought it said old fashioned because I've been all about that drink lately. Tasty, delicious beverage. Bye bye barman. Uh, okay. We can dive in? Oh, I'm diving in. Listen, y'all, y'all don't know what I'm about with this new hat I got. Oh, y'all about some strength? But my strength is way better. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Mr. Cali out there. Wazoo. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna. We're gonna use the old bean. Hell yeah. What the fuck is this? Butter bean. Oh, I don't need to. Oh, that was a stat one. We don't need that. What we need is to put a shield on. No, get this man's out. And do some of this against y'all. That's some good health. I'm gonna take down your stats just so you don't do too much damage to me. Damn it! Holy shit! But uh, we, 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 I got you. I got you. Hell yeah! Drunk gunslinger dies. Got some decent whiskey and wine and tequila. Gross. I hate that stuff. 
All right, we're done with this foolishness. Let me out of here. All right, let's explore Frisco a little bit. There's a flyer of some sort. Pick it up. Got comedy flyer. This is something you found on the ground in Frisco, which means that in the absolute best case scenario, it's garbage. I'm all right with that. Can I enter? It's just nearly identical houses as far as the eye can see in that direction. Yeah. May I entrevue, s'il vous plaît? No. Okay. No, get out of Clooney. Clooncies. Now playing Projection is Wanted. Coming soon. Projection is Wanted too. Oh, the name of the movie is Projection is Wanted. <laughs> Frisco Station can't do it. This one station town ain't big enough for me and my majesticness. Let's go. So there's some places we can explore around Frisco. Some new new. However, we need to do a few things. We're gonna go back. We're gonna put that lava lamp up in my joint. Where? Oh, read it. What? Why didn't I read this? Oh! Wasco's Comedy Shack. You read the garbage. It turns out to be a flyer for a comedy shack up north of Frisco. You jot down the location on your map and then throw the flyer away. Okay. Good thing I read it. There's nothing else for me to read, right? Use it. You put the strange lamp on your table. Groovy. What does it look like in here? Oh, can I just look at it and get mesmerized by it? It's not doing anything. It's not doing a damn thing. All right, we're getting out of here. We we done did that. Let's now go to not the. Oh wait, no, it was the Dave Yard. Go to the Dave Yard. In there. All right. Can I do this? Perform the ritual. Hmm. Let's see. According to that gross scroll, you need human ashes, some stardust. And a glass sphere if you want to do the ritual. You dig through all your stuff, but you didn't find any glass spheres. Nuts. God dang it. I'm gonna get a glass sphere. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, this is for the ritual. Okay, we don't need to walk out. I wonder where I get the sphere. If I can't find it, I'm just gonna look it up. Okay, last custard stand. Damn, Wasco's. We got plenty to do. Let's uh, go to the abandoned mine. Check that out, let me see here. Uh, can I harvest this? No. Gary, what's going on, partner? Oh, hello. More undergrounds. Okay, Gary is waiting here. Sure you don't want to come with? Not wanting accidentally to popping underground. Spore's not having anywhere for going. Sticking together gets real weird. Yikes. All right, Gary, you do your thing. I'm gonna uh, mind splaining. Nugget, nugget. And take it. Whatever. Ooh, strange silvery crystal. And nothing else, right? Uh, did I not do I did this already, right? And I got percussive maintenance. Hit it with the problems. Ride it down. Get down in there. Explore it again. Get this off my damn screen. Get, get off my damn screen. Okay. Anything around here? Nothing. First aid kit. Open it. Uh, blood building, tonic, creation. Okay. Oh, more switch puzzles. Great. Huge. Give me that. Give me that. Don't need any of that. What's with these weird ass rocks? Dig in! <gasps> hey, I can read. It says West Central Storage Facility. There are a bunch of paper cards. Grab them. I don't really need them because I can read this. Take the big cylinder. Got the big cylinder. Put a keystone in. You got scraps, punch card, and vibrato fluid. West Storage Facility. I do recall there being something that I should have used in one of them. So let me go in here. What is this? What's up with this? Nothing. It broke. And mine it. Mine it. Mine it. Mine it. All that months. We can go down there. It looks bad in there. Look in it. Sulfur match. Before I go down there, I want to see what's up with this cart. Why do I need to switch the cart? not in here. Hmm. Need some 
dynamite. Oh, Jesus. Well, looks like I gotta get rid of you. Cool. Now, what's down here? Give me that. Mind splitting bonus. Nuggets. Monies. All kinds of good stuff. Nuggets. So, there's no cart for me to dig around with here, right? Like, yeah, switch has no, has long since rusted. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now we gotta go down, down. Let's go down, down. Can't use these switches. Probably should have, uh, tested that out before I dicked around. Let's go down here. Hmm. Someone doodles spirals all over the table. I wonder if... Uh, let's put the gas mask on. Just to be safe. We're protected! Cool. Uh, some shit down here. This place seems... Someone doodles spirals all over the place. The note says, Dear Jeff, Got called up north to deepest delve. See you soon. Praise be Roberto. Sincerely, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Uh, it's self-containing and effectively infinite amounts. Hey, take that sarsaparilla. What does sarsaparilla do? Uh, Moxie for a day. That's that's all right. That's okay. We don't need that. Nope. Nope. And the sleeping bag. And nope. And. Like this. Somebody went crazy up in here. Alright, we did it. We don't need to be here anymore. Let's get the F out of here. And let's head. Let's do one little wander, just in case. Discover Jew. Hey! Maybe I can get a crystal ball from here. Check it out now. Oh, yeah. Replace my hat. Oh, I got some points. Uh, that's 500. Not yet. Give me my good hat. That one. Yep. Thank you. Jewelry shop inside. No. Get back out. Gary. What do you think about this place? Oh, Gary is hearing about this. A goblin jewelry making. Really? Yes. A famous goblin artisan. Well, now I'm intrigued. Can't go this way. Ain't nothing there. Let's go in and check it out. Maybe I can get myself a crystal ball. Let me steal some shit first. Oh, hello, cu a customer. Why, hello. Welcome. Why, hello. Welcome to Master Gerald's jewelry shop. Howdy. Are you Master Gerald? Oh, no. Master Gerald is back there at his workbench. I'm just his assistant and translator. A goblin jewelsmith? You betting your britches, sonny, and not forgetting it. He says that's right. The finest jeweler in the territory. Well, what do you know? I don't see anything on display, though. Master Gerald only does bespoke work. If you bring in a sufficiently valuable gemstone, he'll craft it into a fine ring for you for a fee. No trash rocks. Well, here's what I got. Uh, strange silver... It's gonna take all my money. And it's just for a ring. I don't want to do that just yet. I wonder. I have Dickerin. 20% discount. Give me that Dickerin skill. Now, will that work? Have a look. It did not work. Fuck! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's, uh. No gemstone here. Or whatever. We're going to the last custard stand. You see familiar outline of an army fort and zag Alfie toward it to investigate. The sign says Fort Unnecessary. Uh, I gotta check it out. We're on the mission. Alright. Gary, what do you think about this Fort Unnecessary? Hello, sad looking fort. It is kind of in... It is kind of in disrepair, yeah. The soldiers here must be not be very good at their jobs. Instructing soldiers to cheering up a fort. Uh, well, I'll see what I can do, I guess. All right, we'll see what we can do. Cannons. A harried-looking young 
Harid? Harid? A harried looking woman in a military outfit darts in front of the door as you enter. Oh no! I can't be having any more misfits in this jerk ward. You can either swear to me that you're halfway competent, heck, even a quarter, and that you'll help sort out this crew of no hoppers, or you can turn right back around and march double time. Yeah, what that? All right, I'm gonna hold you to that promise. Come on in. I'm Captain Harriet Davenport. My name's Beer McCoy. What's the problem, Cap? Problems. Welcome to Camp Fubar, where all the army's idiots and rejects are sent so they're out of the way. I haven't had... I have had it up to my eyeballs trying to run this place. Please, help these morons figure out their malfunctions so they can muster out of here and leave me in peace. Can you give me some details? You'll need to talk to them individually for more information, but the brief is, we've got a scout who's blind as a bat, a cook who can't figure out how to make corned beef hash or on toast, a guy who can't load and fire a cannon without it blowing up or maybe shooting backwards, a guy who, somehow, and I can't for the life of me figure it out, is too bull-legged to ride a horse, and a kid who was sent here because he can't figure out how to tie a bow tie. Oh, and just put the just to put the icing on the cake. We have infinite goblins living in our sword shed. Wow. Okay, I begin to see the scope of your complaint. Pal, you are not just whistling disky. Dixie. Disky? Dixie. Disco. So what'd you do to get sent here? You can hear her teeth grinding as she grows at you. Do not ask. Okay, well, I'll just take a look around then. Yeah, I'll do that. Let me... Oh, there we go. Hey, what's wrong with you? This guy squints real hard at you as you approach. Howdy. Do I... Howdy, do I know you? Your fuzzy silhouette doesn't seem familiar. Nope, just passing through. What do you do here? Well, I'm supposed to be a scout, but I went and broke my only pair of glasses. Without them, I can't see a dang thing. Well, good luck, I guess. Do I have more than one binoc? I need binocs. Items. Uh, it's probably one of these. Binoc alerts. Nope. I know I have one. Oh, damn it, I only have one. Give it to the man. He needs it. More than I do. Here. Well, I'll be. That ain't half bad. He climbs up the top of the watchtower and looks around. They work! I can see a dang thing! Hooray! Great. I ain't got no Banax. I need to find some Banax. Howdy, Cap. Howdy, McCoy. Still got a few misfits that need dealing with. Who's left? Uh, yeah. It's administration. Y'all look like you need some help around here. Investigate. Medal of Adequacy? Whoa! What? Give it to me. Where is my... I, I believe it would be something... No. Where would you... Oh, brooch. Yeah, fuck that. Put it on me! Hell yeah. Alright. What? Okay. That's pretty dang good. H Howdy. Hi. What's wrong? Hachi Willikers. I had a pretty good job as the general's personal assistant, but I got fired and reassigned here. What happened? Everything was great at first, pretty good at scheduling, and I can write shorthand, and I'm an A-plus boot polisher, but then the general went and decided he'd look more serious and sophisticated with a bow tie, and he expected me to do the time for him. No good. Nope. I can do a sheep shank and a bow line and a clover hitch, but for the life of me I can't get a bow tie to look right. The general sent me out here with one to practice on and said not to come back till I got it. 45 moxie? Well, we can do that. Well, where's my moxie at right now? My moxie's at... Oh. We gotta... We gotta... We gotta try. We got some doing. Let me see here. That gives me no moxie. I need moxie. Moxie. Well, there's some moxie. There's five moxie right there. Is there anything with better moxie, Miss Scout? No, Miss Scout. Ooh, that's better moxie. Put that on me. Hey, I can help you now. Help him out. Okay, here. Grab the two ends like this, right? 
you want this side a little shorter and that end crosses over top and then under and up while the other side does a sort of zigzag see then you bring the upper bit straight down and back around and it folds under there and then you pull them tight got it um i think so let me try it let me try the two of you go back and forth a few times until he finally gets it right without poking himself in the eye i think i've got it thanks a lot wait till i show the general he runs out of the building, waving the bow tie in the air. Got him. Damn it, now I gotta put all that shit back. What the hell was I wearing? Okay, we were wearing that. We were wearing the metal, we're good. Where's my poison shit? Where's my poison shit? I don't need moxie, I need poison. That's the good one right there. Poison. No, poison. Yeah. Poison? And damn, what the hell am I using right now? Smoxy. Mr. Cali 6. I'ma think I'ma do that Mr. Cali 6. I was using this before spell damage. Let's go with Mr. Cali. And I was using this spell damage. Muscle goes down or whatever. That's fine. All right, I think we're good. Next. Just shoot yourself a wink. Yeah, I am that good. It would be cruel to loot these people's supplies. I'll wait till they're gone. Howdy, private. Cooker. How appropriate. Well, it would be... Well, it would be if I knew how to cook. Like, even a little bit. What seems to be the trouble? We've only got two ingredients here, and I cannot for the life of me figure out how to combine them. What are the ingredients? Corn beef, hash, and toast. Hmm. Try to help him with a metaphor. What have you thought of the toast as, uh... A roadmap? He nods, seeming to understand where you're going with this. And think of the corned beef as... A hole in the ground. So I should put the corned beef hash under... No. Next to... No, no. I'm sorry. I don't get it. Can we try again? Think of the corned beef hash. Uh, shoe and a shinola. Oh. What the hell is a sh... Oh, shinola. Your shin. Of course. I put the corned beef on the toast. Just like shinola on a shoe. Oh, shinola. What the F? I get it now. Thank you. All that day's work. Well, that was kind of upsetting, but I still got the job done. What can I get in here? Nothing? You ain't gonna give me nothing? Let me see. That's... This horse has four left legs. Oh. What's your problem? How did they call me Private Bowlegs? I can see why. You seem uncomfortable. You ain't kidding. Look at my legs. They're bent so far out, I can't hardly touch both knees at once. Walking hurts like a dickens. The cabin said it helps you from ride, keeps you from riding a horse. Yep, they're too wide. Horse slips right out of between them. Huh? I think I could ride a mule though. Uh, man, what with the? Where would you get a mule? So I can either muscle it up, which I think I can do, or I can go and rent a mule. I'll check that out. Because if I have to pay for it, I'm breaking your damn legs. Rent a mule. Gary, Gary, what, whoa, 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 what's the matter? Hey there, Gary. Oh, hmm, hmm, hey. What's up, Gary? I think this we're living a crazy squirrel man's. A what now? Crazy squirrel man's, you seeing? Halloween's hideout. Cool. Thank you. All right, thanks for the reminder. Let me check around here real quick. That's another church. Hey, this year's model. Needles, need them. Rentals, complaints, needles, got it. Look, such as, too easy sneezy, sneeze through wind fence, what else? Okay, I'm reading all this and we're all right. All right. You. Oh, great. Another customer. As if I didn't have enough to deal with already. What with the paperwork and the heat and the mule bites and someone keeps stealing my lunch out of the employee dice box and my trick knuckles acting up again. 
gosh. Sure would be nice to get a little peace and quiet, but nope. I've got to stand here at this counter all day and the hardwood floor isn't helping my sciatica. Let me tell you. Don't even get me started on what they pay us around here. The mules eat better than I do. Uh-huh. And if all that wasn't bad enough, I went and dropped my daughter's birthday present down a stupid hole at a stupid mine. And will anyone go and get it for me? Haha, <laughs> yeah right. You want me to get it? Hell yeah. Deep as Delmont. I was looking to scavenge some free... I was looking to scavenge some free string to tie up the package with, and I dropped it. And of course, because it's a bracelet, it's round, so of course it rolls un into a hole under some kind of stupid machine. <gasps> Elf Prado shit, maybe. I'll check it out. This is why I came here, because I might be able to find some good stuff. Looks like this is where you go to rent a mule. Just judging from the sign, you know. Howdy. Welcome to Alamo Rent-A-Mule. How can I help you? I'd like to rent a mule. Don't you have a horse? Don't you have a horse? What do you need a mule for, if I may ask? Oh, it's not for me. I'm picking one up for someone else. All right, then. That'll be 150 meat. Whoa, Nelly. Why is it so expensive? It's a lifetime contract. The rental business isn't what it used to be. So we've made some changes to our business model. I suppose technically we should change the name to Alamo Buy a Mule, but we'd have to change all our branding, and you can't really rebrand a mule. They're too wary after the first time. Fuck that for now. I can afford it, but I don't know if I should just yet. All right. I'm going to make that decision next time, but for now I'm going to keep going on with the for unnecessary shit. Like, I don't know if I should buy it or, f like, break his legs. Like, I can break his legs. I- I can... I can definitely break his damn legs. But will it... Who's left? 10-4, I'll take care of it. See? I can break your legs. But that'd be animal abuse, and I'd rather abuse this man's over here. How much would I need to... Oh, I can fix you up. I can fix you up. Uh, you. Let me try and fix you up. <laughs> Howdy. What's the haps? I'm supposed to be a cannoneer, but I'm terrible at loading cannons. They always explode, except not the way they're supposed to explode. Or else they don't explode at all. Huh. The only time I ever got one to fire right, the cannonball knocked my sergeant's hat off and he was standing behind me. Still can't figure out how that happened. So they re so they assigned me to this loser squad and said I can't report back to proper duty until I've figured out how to load a cannon right. Well, I got a book for you. I can oh, I could do either one of these. Here, have the book. I don't need it. Uh huh. Let's see. He flips through the pages, which have big number diagrams. Oh, you take the stick back out before you put the cannonball in. Well, that certainly sounds easier. Let me figure it out. He carefully follows along the directions in the book and successfully fires a cannonball over the wall of the fort. I did it! Wow, great! Thanks a lot! I'm gonna go get my new assignment right away. Got that XP, baby. And is there anybody in here? A sign on the front says, Important gun storage, no goblins. You open the door a crack and take a peek. Naturally, the shed is crammed full of goblins to the ceiling. They're barely recognizable as individual goblins. Wow, jeez. Oh, what? Let Gary see. Gary takes a peek and reels back in shock, slamming the door. Aha, gross, awful! A goblin popping in there. Maybe two. Uh, is that what happened? All those spores and nowhere to go? All growing into new goblins and they just smooshing all up. <laughs> Burn it with fire! I got some matches. Uh, I think sulfur matches, sulfur matches. Yeah, burn this shit down to the ground. I can't do it. All right, so we just got you to deal with. And then you'll be happy. I am almost done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Private bow legs. Can I find some more binox? I'd like more binox if I would be so kind. 
professor, don't need it. For cowardice, don't need it. Button swallows. Maybe button swallow has uh, some binox for me. I feel like if I used the binox here, I would have discovered a place, but then I wouldn't have completed the quest, right? <sighs> Let me see, button swallow. What do you got? You got no binox. Great. There's a goddamn Banax. And they don't know why he's got no Banax. I haven't found this person a mistress yet. Actually, is there a Banax here? Hey. Oh, she Buy that Banax! Yeah, I'll take both of them. Farmer skin and knife, I don't need this. Mm, let me take a look around here. Could have bought the fucking bar of soap from here. I didn't see this. This wasn't here when I came the last time. What the ass? This this bar of soap wasn't here when I came the last time. Why you got me like why, why you got me like that? Why you gotta make my life so difficult? We got the binox, which is good. Do I have any mail, sir? Dang. No and no. Wait, maybe this guy had- the guy with the crazy shop, Curiosity and Bean. Do you have a crystal ball? Uh, where's all your merchandise? Okay, let me see what you got. Oh my god, give it to me. So we got Glass Sphere. Maybe that'll be good. Uh, glass will help you see around corners. Tiny, teeny tiny hat. All-purpose beans, that's for cooking, ring of inconspicuousness, magician's pants, do uh, golden scare pin, eh. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode off right, we're going to the dave yard. Perform the ritual. Yes! Uh, what did it, what did it say? Mm, let's see, according to that scroll scroll, you need human ashes, some stardust, and I don't even know where the hell I got stardust from. As Dictated by the scroll, you spread the ashes in a human shape in the circle and add the stardust and glass sphere while intoning the ritual chant. Dance, magic dance. Put on your red shoes and jump, magic jump. Ashes to ashes, funk to funky. Shake it up, shake it up, move it up, move it up. Ch -ch Changes! The universe shudders ecstatically around you as the ashes writhe and transform into the glamest skeleton you've ever did see. Neat! Hey, what are you doing over there, floating up like that all cool like? Whoa, that's the coolest skeleton you've ever seen. Fight it. Wow, it's got a cool ass knife as well. It's got that Harry Potter scar. Harry? Wait, it's only... What's the point? It's only 20. Kill this thing, please. What a letdown. Give me something good. Berry knife? Those other things you've been calling knives, those aren't knives. This is a knife. Okay. Is that it? Can I do it again? That was it? Yo. Figures. I should have known. I should have known. I should have known that the game would do this to me. Oh, wow. At least all y'all satisfied. We got it. We did it. All right, we're gonna go. Gary. What you gotta say? I see. So I think I'm gonna end it here. We did our due diligence. I'll see what I can do. I'm still seeing what I can do. But we did do a lot. I still want to finish up what's going on over here. And we got to go up here. And here. And there as well. But... Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be back again with some more West Lothian.